Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing how to use update query in uh, JDBC. And uh, this is basic uh, SQL query of update we should be using in JDBC program. So well, let's get started for that. All right, so I've already created this table and the table name is register. It has some following entries in that. And uh, now I've created a class, uh, update class in oxygen eclipse eclipse oxygen so now the basic thing that we have to do here first is to connect the uh, this program with the database so for that we use this class for name in that we write the path that is com dot mysql dot cj dot uh, jdbc driver all right and uh, then we have to create a connection object and start this driver connection in this we are passing uh, this jdbc colon mysql colon forward slash localhost this is the connectivity with our mysql I, it's stored on port number 3307 in my computer. Um, in your, it could be 3306 as well. JDBC1 is my database. All right. Uh, then my username and password of MySQL. Okay. So this is how the basic connection is. Then we, I'll just print a statement. Sorry. Connecting to the database. Now we'll start with the update query. So I've already posted a video of uh, update query in SQL. So if you want, you can refer those videos as well. That is basically in SQL and this is using JDBC. That's the only difference in that. The query remains the same. Its syntax remains the same. Now here I'll be creating an object of statement. Um, so statement that is stmt equal to null. Then uh, I'll create uh, the query. So before that I'll just start the statement. So statement are equal to con dot create statement. These are all the basic functionalities which we have to carry out. Then I will write the SQL query. There is, uh, I'll store it in SQL variable, which I will write as update. Now, depends on what you want to update, how you want to update. So, I'll, base, I'll simply write update. This is my table name. Register set first. That is the first name of that, of a single record, which is to be stored as... Uh, I'll write here set now if uh, if you see this table I have uh, this is a, uh, any of the records suppose I've written this is Michael Jacobs okay so if I want to change the name that is the first name of this so I could write like suppose Bella and um, that's it now if you want you can apply a where condition here that is where ID equal to what was the record id 6 so i'll write where id equal to 6 so this is my query simple query okay now i'll just execute this so it will be statement dot execute update and in that sql that we will pass and after this a simple statement saying that it is updated okay data updated all right uh, now we'll just save this thing and execute another errors which are shown so i'll be writing here is throws exception in uh, jgbc we have to use exceptions so for that we have to write here common throws exceptions or you can write a try catch block all right so this is how we have to do 
this creating uh, connections and all those videos I also have posted and that is uh, how to create and uh, database how to create tables and how to connect to the database so all that videos I've also posted if you want you can refer those videos so I'll just save it and I will execute it There's an error because uh, I have written the name wrong that is in my table that is first name. So I've just written as first so there's no column named as first for that I just have to write here as first name. That's it. Okay. And save it and run it. Yeah. So data is updated. It is showing here. And uh, so now it will. I'll just refresh this. You can see here on the sixth record this record. You can see here the name is Bella, Bella Jacobs. All right. So this is how update query is being used. Now um, there are some other cases also to uh, update it. For that we are using is now this was using prepare uh, statement, right? So we can also use this prepared statement. I've, al uh, I've already discussed like what is the difference in prepared statement and statement. So prepared statement is allowing us to take the runtime ex uh, runtime values, and a statement does not does that. Okay. <laughs> So in prepared statement, uh, so that it creates a, uh, what do you say, an object of prepared statement and which is used for sending the parameterized SQL uh, statements to the database. So we can uh, send parameterized SQL uh, queries, whereas in statement we cannot do that. We have to give some values here. All right now, as you can see now, I'll show how, uh, what these parameterized queries in uh, prepared statement means. So if I create an object of prepared statement, Okay, I'll write as stmt1 equal to uh, this con dot prepare statement. Sorry. Okay, um, here we have to pass an SQL. Uh, before that, I'll write the query then. Here we have to pass it. So I'll write a string SQL1. Okay, because now this SQL is already you present here and it contains this query so i'll create an sql1 another query where i will write update register set first name first name uh, equal to question mark because i don't know what i want where id also equal to question mark now this is what i say as a uh, parameterized query these are parameterized because we don't know the values so we'll be passing this value values later here i'll write as sql1 semicolon next is uh stmt1 that is statement one that dot set now this is what first name first name here is string so we'll write as set string okay just uh, import this header okay string in that i'll write one comma now what uh, string do i want i want a string now yeah now the suppose uh at the data entry of suppose nine okay uh at the data entry of nine i want to update its last name as lee Robin Lee okay so nine uh, first name okay I'll write Robert it's Robin I'll write Robert comma stmt1 dot set integer uh, two comma what is the value nine i'll tell you what this all mean okay now just see what does this things mean this means why one i have taken one means the parameterized index so it is saying it specifies the first parameter in the query this is my query 
update register in this query i have got two parameters first name and the id because there are question marks we have to value pass the values for these so this is the first parameter hence the set string will get a value as one this uh, set integer why because id is storing an integer value so id uh, it is integer and that is the second parameter hence the value is two and now this is the value which i want to set as i have mentioned in the previous uh, statement that was i was mentioned hard coding it that is first name as bella so i have written here as bella so that i'm going to write here as robert i want to replace it or the uh, the entry or the record i have to update that table and write here as robert and at the id of what they have taken is six so i have taken the id as nine so at the entry of nine record this ninth record i want the first name as robert instead of robin all right so now this is how it is and um, after that we have to do is uh, one more thing that is statement dot execute update update all right if you want you can also place another uh, this thing this thing hold i can copy paste it here and i'll write here as second time to just differentiate it okay save it and execute it yeah so the both the queries are getting executed the prepared statement well as well as the normal statement i'll just make it a little bit lower okay so you can see here refresh this table and i can see the ninth record as robert bruce so you can uh, you can update whatever you want the first name last name or the ids or different type of uh, you can say comparisons you can do and uh, combinations you can do and then you can just write your query as you write in your sql that's it now just remember while uh, using prepared statement we have to pass your sql one directly and we have to uh, write the execute update without any parameter as sql where in statement we have to uh, write the execute update and follow the sorry pass the sql that's the only difference here all right and here we have to give the values here in prepared statement we don't give the values we are taking it at the parameter values later on all right so this is what it is all about update um thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section below if you have any doubts regarding sql queries basic clauses or uh it could be a uh, simple insert update create i have also posted uh, different videos specific videos uh using the sql queries so you can refer those videos if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment and i'll answer your questions and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you